Hey, this is Peter again, and today I'm here with Mary. And I want to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects that I talk about so often, and that's the leverage, leveraging part of this business. You know, the one thing that I'm so excited about the real estate business about, you know, that kind of separates our business from so many other businesses is this other side of the model, meaning, you know, we all get in the business to make money, no question. I don't care if you're digging ditches, if you're an accountant, or if you're in real estate, you want to make money. But real estate offers that other side, the leveraging side, the lifestyle side. And so when you're talking about the lifestyle side, you're always, people are always talking about, well, you, that's a system, you got to systematize there, you got to automate there and all that. And it really becomes almost like a conceptual thing, what that lifestyle is and how to develop it. You know, my contention, almost everything that we talk about, it's people related. You're leveraging your time, your effort through people. So that's what automation is. That's what systematizing things is. That's what pre putting procedures in place with. So people, people, people is what ultimately creates lifestyles for us as investors. And so the, the topic that is, always comes up that I'm constantly asked about, well, what kind of people? I mean, we all kind of know the functions we need. You know, we need inspectors in this business. We need realtors in this business. We need contractors in this business. You know, we need people for our uh, offices in this business. But beyond the concept of the people, people, individuals are always asking me specifically what kind of a person, you know, what kind of an employee, what, who do I want to hire, who do I want to work with? So this is what I always say to people. There's three types of individuals that you could work with. I guess, it, you know, instead of using the word individuals, let's use the word employees. Three types. One is what I call the I don't give a crap employee. Now look, we've always had them, we all had them, I've had them, and you could literally look at those people and they literally, they're there, they're working for you, but there's no question, if somebody asked them what they think about your operation, what they think about the industry, what they think about their job, their answer would be something along the lines, I don't give a crap, I'm there because I gotta be there. That's the first type of employee. The second type of employee is what I call the neutral type of employee, almost kind of a, a wet noodle. And again, we always had them. You know, all of us have had these people. These are people that are there, they're consistent, but you don't really know what side of the fence they fall on. You're not quite sure if they're 100% on board with you, if they're there what. Again, those are kind of neutral people. They're taking up space, they're doing their job, they're neutral at best. And then there's this other extreme. Those are the people that they are your business. I mean, I could honestly say those are the people that love your business. Those are the people that are gonna do whatever it takes to drive your business forward. Those are the people that you really don't have to even supervise. Now you're there, you're working with them, you're communicating them. They are there and they're gonna do whatever it takes not only to get what they need to have done done, they're gonna do whatever it takes to do anything to get things done. And that's why I wanna talk about Mary today. Mary, there's no question, falls in this extreme and like above this extreme. And, and so th this is the, the, the individual that you're trying to ultimately align yourself with, no matter what that individual does for you, you wanna find the Marys of the world. So Mary, what do you do here? I schedule all the inspections, I drive the deals forward to our attorney's office and get them closed. That's it, I mean, that's the bottom line. What Mary does, and, and so many times I use Mary as an example, whether I'm working with a coaching client or I'm talking to a fellow investor, and, 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 and the word I always use with individuals is you have to be proactive on your deals. You have to always be proactive. I don't care if you're working one deal or if you have 10 deals going on. It is your responsibilities or the people around your responsibilities to get these deals closed. You know, you can't just sit back and wait for deals to close. You know, some of them take their own natural progression, but I could tell you, especially in our type of world, investing type of world, you have to drive your deals forward. That's exactly what Mary does. Mary, you know, let's just swing here for just, you know, a second. You know, th these are some of the deals that we're working on. And what Mary's responsibility is, is, you know, I know you just kind of rattled off two or three things. The bottom line is she does whatever it takes. As a matter of fact, last weekend, were you not at a mobile home park? I at a mobile home park that we're on the deal we're putting together, were you not with a gun? I was with my gun. With a gun. So, <laughs> so, so here it is, Mary, on a weekend, we, not in a weekday, on a weekend, with a gun, which probably means not the, the safest play. Matter of fact, one of our sales guys went there and uh, uh, you know he should have been there by himself. No, Mary went there to take control, to do whatever she had to do. 
inspections, that's not her responsibilities. Now she can coordinate them, by no means is it her responsibility, but this is a, a, a very unique deal, a very intense deal that we're putting together. So again, what is she doing? She's going above and beyond. So how do you find these people? And, and, and how do you, you know, the, the question really comes up that people say when I talk about this concept, people are like, well, how do I know if I have that right person? You really don't know. Time will determine that. But ultimately, here's my challenge to you. For those of you that already have people you're working with on your team, whether it's agents, whether it's uh, bird dogs, whether it's contractors, whether it's someone like Mary, you gotta really ask yourself, what line or what side of, the, of this equation does this employee fall, fall on? Is it the guy that doesn't give a crap? Is it the guy that's a wet noodle that's kinda here or there? Or is it a person like Mary who will do anything above and beyond? I can honestly say, Mary, I totally love what you do. I love Mary for what she does. And, and I'm telling you, as, 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 as goofy as that might seem, that is how you know you got someone right there. When you can honestly, without a shadow of doubt, feel that way about that employee. And when you get to the point where the key people you have in your business are on this side of the equation, that's when you got automation, that's when you got leverage, that's when you're systematizing things, that's when you got the procedures in place, and as a result of that, that's when you got a lifestyle. So you gotta challenge yourself, you gotta challenge yourself, find the Marys, and be honest with yourself, if you don't have the Marys in your inner circle, you probably have to make some changes. Hey, you guys know what we do here. We do a ton of deals, and, and I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I coach people just like you to help become very, very successful real estate investors. So, if you're a buyer, or you know other buyers literally all over the world that are looking for deals in a Georgia market specifically concentrated towards Atlanta, you need to be on our buyers list. By now, you'll see my email scrolling across the screen. Send me an email. Just say, add me to the buyers list. And on a daily basis, you're going to get some terrific both ROI and equity-driven deals uh, emailed right directly to you through email. The other thing, if you're looking to become a successful investor, whether you're brand new, just getting started, or whether you're doing it already and you're looking to be a, a bigger, more sophisticated, more savvy investor, I know I could help you do that. Again, you could either send me an email to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, or better yet, right below this video, there's a link right directly to coachingbypeter.com. You can go straight there and learn more about how I could help you become very successful in this industry.